teens almost in tears after getting roasted by Dr. Phil. By now, you may have heard the name Dr. Phil after a rise in the popularity of his show, The Dr. Phil Show. Dr. Phil never spares his guests from the truth, which can sometimes seem harsh. He hosts and interviews some of the most dysfunctional families and people, providing top-notch entertainment. Most of his guests, however, include some unruly teens on the brink of insanity. Today, we're going to feature teens that were almost in tears after getting roasted by Dr. Phil. Before we get to it, tap the subscribe button and hit the bell notification button. Thank you. Now let's begin, shall we? Number 5. Lying Teen vs. Dr. Phil Ever told a lie so much that you even start believing it yourself and doubting every possible proof that it was a lie in the first place? Haley's mother Christy had simply had enough. She says Haley is delusional and a compulsive liar and sought help from Dr. Phil. Haley has constantly carried the notion that Eminem was the father and her mother had been hiding that truth from her ever since she was little. When coming on the show, she was very confident about her allegations and even explained to Dr. Phil that her mother hid photos of the man among other things. Christy says Haley is a liar and has also lied about appearing on American Idol, donating a kidney to her brother among other things. Her family members feel that Haley is on the verge of insanity and needs help. They also confirm that the man Haley is referring to in the photos is a family friend and not her father as she claims. What raises concerns with Dr. Phil is the fact that Haley insists Eminem wrote her a song and even used photos with her in the music videos. She even claims her classmates told her how similar they looked with Eminem's daughter. This is his daughter, yes, Haley. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. It looks just like my friend. Um... Dr. Phil sorts through Haley's claims to help her learn the truth and examines a picture Haley gave him that she says proves Eminem is her father. Dr. Phil asks Haley, did you tell people that Eminem is your father? Yes, I did actually, Haley replies. Is he your father? Dr. Phil continues. I'm not sure, Haley says. My mom has a picture of a guy that looks just like Eminem, and I'm sitting on his lap. When Dr. Phil reads a statement from the man in Haley's picture, he calls her out for being delusional and out of touch with reality. This leaves Haley speechless for a while. As if that wasn't enough madness, she also thought Dr. Phil could be her uncle. She also claimed to be pregnant and is about to give birth to a baby boy whom she had named Jesus. The 19-year-old also claimed that she had been diagnosed as a paranoid schizophrenic. I, I'm a paranoid schizophrenic at that, and they, she knows exactly what pushes my button. Her mother says that the doctor and pregnancy test have confirmed that Haley isn't pregnant and that her daughter has never been diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. Haley's sister says she just needs to get a grip on reality. Away from Haley is another delusional teen. Telly Zelly, that believes is the greatest rapper of all time and is willing to risk it all for her dream. Dr. Phil puts her in her place and tells her, don't live off your mother and then talk about being authentic from the trenches. Number 4. Struggling Teen Rapper vs. Dr. Phil Telly Zelly says she will do what it takes to make her dreams of becoming a rapper a reality. Despite being on full scholarship, she dropped out of college and says her family doesn't support her and they need to open their minds. Despite her mother's financial support, her elder brother Josh has been the only true support she's had, but the rest of the family members feel he's a bad influence. Not only is he encouraging Telly Zelly to smoke marijuana, but he's also instilled the idea that she's a genius rapper to her head, that she's lost touch with reality. Josh says he's trying to help his sister fulfill her dream and be a strong supportive system for her. We're not here to make quick money on anything, we're here for longevity and here to develop my sister as an artist and for her to be known, he says. Her mom admits to supporting her daughter financially, even though she doesn't agree with the choices she has made. Dr. Phil doesn't support this even one bit and asks if face tattoos and dropping out of school is the life she chose. He even goes ahead to show her all the successful rappers that went to university. You should follow your dreams to the extent you can afford it, he says to Telly Zelly. If you want to pursue this, fine. Work for it. Get a job. Fund yourself. Don't live off your mother and then talk about being authentic from the trenches. Not sure what the obsession with rappers is, but these teens need to get a grip on their lives. This next teen is left feeling like a wet cat after Dr. Phil touches on her insecurities. Serves her right. I mean, she dares to tell her mother to shut the hell up. Number 3. Aggressive Teen vs. Dr. Phil Dr. Phil drills down to determine why a teen acts out and threatens violence. What are you so afraid of? He asks the teen. I didn't say I was afraid of anything, she replies. The teen in question, Destiny, says when she gets angry, she acts out and says whatever comes to her mind. She admits that she's chased her sister with a butcher knife, spread rumors about teachers at school, 
and even threatened to shoot teachers and students. Dr. Phil points out that her attitude insinuates she was afraid of something, and feels like an I'm going to get them before they get me type of attitude. He doesn't like the idea that despite having 1,000 choices to choose, Destiny chose to consistently attack people verbally, alienate them, push them away, call them names, and distance herself from them. Is to attack people verbally, alienate them, push them away, call them names, and distance yourself from them. All this proves she's afraid of something. The teen gets roasted as her verbal abuse to her mother isn't tolerated by Dr. Phil. He even calls her unsocialized and immature. Forget sugar and spice and everything nice. When it comes to bullying, it's not just a boy's world. More and more, girls are becoming the aggressors. Ever watch the movie Mean Girls? Dr. Phil came face to face with some Mean Girls protégés, and he wasn't sparing them one bit. Number two, Mean Girls vs. Dr. Phil. Sometimes things are so complicated beyond Dr. Phil's hands that other measures need to be implicated. In this case, 17 girls were housed at Dr. Phil's home for three days and the team wanted to know if they would get along. The twist, however, was that part of the girls were bullied while the others were victims of bullying. Needless to say, we're sure some off-camera drama broke loose that we surely know nothing about that. The whole episode was a two-part series that was made to enlighten people on the mental effect of bullying and why parents should confront their kids about it. A recent survey of 6th and 7th grade girls showed almost 1 in 3 admitted to hitting someone as a form of bullying, and punches are also being thrown in cyberspace as girls use the internet to harass each other as well as post videos of their physical fights. Dr. Phil comes face to face with the mean girls and victims, and he wants to get to the bottom of things. The stay at the home was facilitated by the help of Dr. Charles Sophie, medical director for the Los Angeles County Department of Children and Family Services. To kick things off, the teens, named Hannah, Katie, Lily, Caitlin, Nicole, Tempest, and another Hannah, had a history that their parents knew nothing about. What they uncover leaves them speechless. During a group confrontation where Dr. Phil got on one of the girl's nerves, Nicole bluntly told him it was okay to tell people they were ugly because it wasn't bullying, but was just being bluntly honest. He even asked if he was ugly, and she affirms that he actually was due to his age and general physique. What's ugly about me? You're just older okay. and less attractive. I'm bald. This then escalates into Dr. Phil calling the girl afraid and hiding behind a mask. Barking up emotions, she gets triggered to fight back. That's not all. When Katie got confronted, she admitted how it felt like she had turned into a monster. On to the saucy part. We cannot hide the fact that this group exercise turned tense when one of the girls, Tempest, caught our attention. Things escalated so fast when she decided enough was enough and said, I'm going to punch a producer. According to Dr. Phil, all this is influenced by her environment and needed some guidance since her mother wasn't playing the role. According to a revelation Tempest had with Dr. Sophie, some information she shared raised some concerns that Dr. Phil found disturbing, including the fact that she was involved with a 47-year-old man. Number 1. Privileged Teen vs. Dr. Phil Well, the reason why this tops our number one is that this 17-year-old is the ideal example of a teenager out of control. Ronald, the teen in question, wrote to Dr. Phil a couple of times, requesting him to convince his mother to raise his allowance. Before I even name the figure for you, how many of you can spend more than $400 on their kids for an allowance? Or how many of you kids get more than $400 per month? Anybody for $400 a week? Well, Ronald currently receives $1,000 as a monthly allowance, which he wants to be raised to $1,500 a month, so he's able to accommodate his expensive lifestyle. According to him, he believes shopping serves as retail therapy, as it's what he turns to when feeling stressed. Not only is this boy over his head, but also very selfish. He has occupied the master room of the house since it has a walk-in closet and let his mom stay in the tiniest room available. His mother also has to work extra, which equates to over 120 hours a week, so she's able to maintain his lifestyle and care for the house. He refuses to get a job or think about going to college, and believes he's going to make millions as a YouTube star, because he has massive following on Instagram. He believes that his almost half a million followers on Instagram will bring him the fame and success he's looking for. He even showcases how happy he gets when people compliment his looks and leaves likes when they see him looking like money. Since he feeds off social media approval, Ronald is willing to spend thousands of dollars on things he doesn't even need. Taisha, his mom, says she's tired of working 120 hours a week to support Ronald's monthly allowance. According to Dr. Phil, when you get children who are entitled, you have to learn that those are privileges and have to be earned. On confronting Ronald on his behavior, Dr. Phil calls him out for being selfish. 
He brags about his $1,000 shoes that he has on set and how he gets everything he desires. When Dr. Phil was clear that whatever money he had wasn't his, but belonged to his mother, Ronald claimed that since the money was now in his possession, he had the right to do anything he wanted with it. Dr. Phil was able to put him in his place when he said he'd have zero money to spend on what he wanted without his mom's money. Also, he was able to show him that his glamorous YouTuber lifestyle was just a dream, since even with millions of views on YouTube only makes a small return. Ouch. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Also, turn on the bell notification to get notified as soon as we drop new content. We post new content every day, so do tell us in the comments section below how you like this video and what other stuff you'd like us to feature from your favorite shows.